Chasing Eden, A Book of Seekers by Howard Mansfield Seekers are all around us. This is a book about seekers, about Americans seeking their Eden, their promised land, their utopia out on the horizon, which, by definition, is ever receding before us. When Thomas Jefferson committed the new nation to the pursuit of happiness, he set up the primary occupation of every American. In this book, we follow a few of these pursuits. A young man shepherding the Shakers through their twilight years. The end of all but one of the Shaker villages is not, as usually portrayed, a dower shuffling to the end of their days. It is, true to its beginnings, a devotion. A group of adventuring 19th century landscape painters looking for God and for signs of the future greatness of their new nation in New Hampshire's White Mountains. Tourists today rushing up the Mount Washington Auto Road were set on their course by these pioneers of seeing. A doctor who achieves the American dream by changing the boundaries and ruling himself and his family in, crossing over and crossing back, rewriting the definition of race. 40,000 Africans, newly freed from slavery, taking possession of 40 acres and a mule that were granted by one Civil War general and one Secretary of War, only to have their land taken from them within months by another general and a new president. Veterans, home from World War II, having grown up in the Great Depression, ready at last to start their lives where everything is new in the suburbs. The spindly trees grow up, their children grow up, and turn against them. A collision between peace and war, the American dream and protest, children and parents. The pilgrims and the Wampanoags, sitting down to a harvest feast which would be spun into the Thanksgiving story, a fable that blinds us to the ingratitude and wars lying behind our holiday and our country's founding. This is but a small gathering of Americans, all on the road to find out, all united by their longing and devotion. All history is the history of longing, says historian Jackson Lears, and in each era, This longing gives form and force to our lives.